Oh, it's only a great win today <coughs> against Ponte Breed, another in the right direction for us, and overall the result was everything, and great result today. Yeah, excellent. Another another, another tough game uh, that we've managed really well. Oh, listen, Ponte Breed have uh, been better than us this season against each other, and um, today was nice to uh, finally get a result against them, but it, it was a tough game. We know we've had a tough game today. Mm. The first half was pretty impressive in terms of we were on the front foot a lot. You know, there wasn't a massive amount of chances, but in terms of being on the front foot, that was impressive because, as I say, Ponte are a good team. Yeah, well, when we get the ball down and play, that, that's what we want to do. It, but the other type of game doesn't suit us, and uh, we controlled the game first half, I thought. I thought they came into it the last 10 minutes of the first half. Um, and then second half was always going to be more difficult. Mm. You know, they, they had the wind behind them, and they're going to put free kicks and, and balls forward. And you know they're good at that. You know they've got good strikers who hold the ball up and cause us problems. But I thought as a team we defended really well, and and, and the back three and the goalkeeper were very good today. Uh, Jordan's finish for the first goal, very good finish. Oh, great ball by Dan as well. To be fair, just seeing it back. I mean a very clever finish from Jordan um, right on the corner. So that was a big moment for us. Yeah, to get the first goal mm. is important. We've gone one and up against Pontypridd twice this season, and then uh, then lost both games. But um, getting the first goal is always vital. But then getting the second goal, same as we did last week, gives us a bit more uh, breathing space. And doing that today settled us down. And then um, obviously went on to, to to hold on and and come with another clean sheet. Yeah, what I thought was great today, Tony. Thanks for coming with your rest there and you as well. Um, the second goal was the sort of goal that we've been giving away almost. Not quite as bad as that. Yeah. It was a gift one, a lovely run by Jordan. He impressed me today with chasing. Then all of a sudden, you've got a tap in there. It's great to see that Dan Hawkins was lurking in the tent. Yeah, whoever we play up front, you know, obviously Forsey's out at the moment, but Jordan has done it all year. Dan can do it. Jack Lee, he can do it. You know, we, we've got pace in forward areas. And when Henry's able to pick a ball up in the space he had, yeah. and he's, he's got one pass to make, and, you know, nine times out of ten, Henry Jones is going to make that pass and put it into an area where Jordan's going to capitalise. He did. The ball across was good. I think he might have had a bit of a ricochet, a bit of luck for it to drop. But if Dan Hawkins isn't in the six yard box, he doesn't tap it in. And that, that's what we keep telling the strikers, whoever mm -hmm. they are, play between the posts and you'll score more. I think the other thing that impresses me as well now, I remember our first ever talk, I did cheek to say to you, I didn't think there was strength in depth and he wasn't even your squad. But now you look, you've got Elliot Scott, a very talented player, Ben Fawcett's ill and, and he's on the way back now. Jazz Richards isn't playing today. You've lost a couple of key players, but still a good squad you're putting out. Yeah, we've we've struggled all season getting a full squad uh, available. You know, um, you know, but and to have Jazz, Ben, and Elliot out now, probably for the, for the rest of the mm. season, is, is a tough one to take. But we, we've got other people back, and mm. um, you know the bench is strong today again. Watsy will be back next week from suspension, but Jamie Veal is suspended now for next week, which which is a which is a tough one. But um, I've been able to rest people and give other people yeah. minutes of the games, which have, we haven't been able to do all season. And you haven't like, have five youth players on it, because that's no good to you, is it really? No, it, listen, it's great. Of experience. We have we have got youngsters in in the group, and you know, there's two today who weren't on the bench, but we, we have got talented youngsters. But in the main, you know, we want two of those on the bench, mm. and and five senior players, and and we've had that for the last couple of weeks, and uh, long may that continue. Yeah, Aber up next week then. Um, great to be home here again. Um, and it could be a game which could see us finish seventh. Um, it could be done before then, but great momentum for us now. And it's a clean sheet as well. It's a big one for us. Yeah, I'd rather be playing Friday night in front of a big Too crowd. Right. But um, we Too had right. no say in that. We had our last home game of the season taken off us, which everybody knows my views on it. I think it's a, it's an outrage. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've got to be careful what I say now, but um, I've, said, I've said it, so that's all I'm going to say. But hopefully we have another big crowd next Saturday mm. um, and, and we can finish the job next Saturday. But so we know how with it, how tough that would be. You know, they're the team that stay in games and, and compete and work hard as an 11 and um, next Saturday will be another, another mm. tough game for us.